All right, well, the Obamas bringing the heat on the second day of the Democratic National Convention, former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama having some, a fiery choice of words for Republican candidate Donald Trump. So why does this all matter and how could this impact the election? Here to weigh in is Yahoo Finance, a senior columnist, Rick Newman. And Rick, when we talk about whether or not the Obamas were able to sway those voters that maybe are undecided at this point, what do you think? Is it going to make a difference? I don't think that's the point of the convention, really. I think what they're doing, and they're doing pretty well, is generating a lot of excitement among Democrats. So in order to win in November, uh, either party, you need to do two things. You need to get maximum turnout from your own people, and that's what's going on here at the Democratic convention, getting people really excited and engaged. And then you have to convert some of the um, people in the middle. So this is, the, this is part one, uh, getting Democrats really excited, and it does seem to be working. I mean, it's been a star-studded lineup. It will, continue, uh, it will continue tonight with Bill Clinton and Nancy Pelosi, uh, and uh, the Democrats are getting themselves pumped up. That's the main, uh, main goal this week. And so with that in mind, how does this translate into campaign dollars funding raised ultimately to deploy towards even more of that messaging beyond the week of the convention? Right. That's a good point, Brad, because along with enthusiasm comes money. Um, and that does seem to be happening. I mean, um, Kamala Harris has kind of been blowing the doors off in terms of fundraising. That is continuing. Um, one of the questions, and we, we, we talked about this earlier in the week, is whether um, Kamala Harris would get the tra the traditional convention bounce out of this. And I was a bit skeptical because she's uh, gotten already gotten such a big bounce that it seems like maybe she had been pulling that bounce forward. Now I'm guessing uh, this, this convention is going quite well uh, and there's more to come. I'm guessing maybe she will get the convention bounce, a couple of additional points up in the polls. And she is now tied with Donald Trump in some polls and, and slightly ahead in other polls. That's not good enough. Um, she needs to be doing better than that to feel like she has a real good chance of winning in November. But uh, this convention is doing its job so far. And one other thing I would point out, not being overshadowed by protests outside uh, the United Center over the uh, is Israel's war in Gaza. And that has been a concern for Democrats all along. We're going to get another protest tomorrow, it sounds like. Um, but so far, it's going Democrats' way. All right, Rick, thanks so much for breaking that down.